Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, a book that I wrote after I healed myself from cancer naturally without using the medical model, simply by changing the way I looked at what was happening to my body. So when I found myself in this little pickle boat, so to speak, of a health crisis, I looked at the pre-paved route that the medical model has to offer. Chemo, radiation, pharmaceuticals, radical surgery, you know, all different kinds of things. And to be quite honest, none of those things appealed to me in the least. What did appeal to me was to learn how to heal my own body. Because I knew that if I knew how to heal my own body, I would never have to worry about a disease ever again. And at the time it kind of sounded a little radical, like, wow, you know, I need to be able to be master of my own body. That's what I want. And I realized that the medical model was never going to show me how to do that. So I was going to need to find out for myself. But could I actually do that? Like everybody goes, everybody goes to the doctor for these things. Everybody gets chemo. Everybody gets radiation. Everybody find, goes to their doctor and has their doctor figure it out for them nobody just heals their own bodies. I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> well, I looked at my body and I knew that my body was designed to heal itself. It was completely obvious to me. I didn't need some degree in medical science to figure that out. Every time I had a break, a sprain, a bruise, a cut, a blister, a, any of those things, any anytime I had the flu, anytime I had a cold, when I had the mumps when I was a kid, when I had the chicken pox when I was a kid, every single one of those things my body healed from. And the majority of them, the body just did it itself. Every single time I got a cut, I never had to run off to some doctor. I just put a Band-Aid on and the body took care of the rest. And I thought, if the body heals all these things, why would it be any different for some disease? But the diseases are scary and they're, they're killers. If you don't get them, they're gonna get you. So it was really pretty frightening when I found myself in this situation, I was scared because cancer is a killer disease. But I decided at the time that I was pretty much in such dire straits. My life was so out of balance. I was so unhappy in my life. I really truly did not care whether I lived or died at that point. So I figure I may as well go all in and see if I can get my body to heal itself. Because if I can, then great. That's gonna show me, that's gonna give me something to live for. And if I couldn't, great, then I'll be out of my misery. Either way, it was a win-win situation for me. I literally had nothing to lose and everything to gain. So every day I sat down and I meditated and I asked, what do I need to know about this in order to change it? And for a long time, I was just in my mind going, oh, let me go, let me go look, let me go look online, let me go look for some answers, let me do some research, let me, let me, but that wasn't going to give me the answers I needed. The answer I needed was going to come directly from source. And in order for me to access the information directly from source, I had to quiet the monkey mind. I had to be able to tap in.
to my soul, the part of myself that is directly connected to source itself, directly connected to the mind of God, not the mind that has been programmed and taught what to think, how to think, when to think, uh -uh. but the mind of God itself that is the soul, the core of who we each are. And when I was able to quiet the monkey mind and tap into the universal mind and actually pull down some wisdom about what was going on with my body, it became completely obvious to me. The answer appeared and it was clear. And it said, hey, Lisa, your body's not being attacked by some killer disease. Your body is actually functioning perfectly. There's nothing wrong with your body. Your body is doing exactly what it is designed to do, given the circumstances that you have provided. So the circumstances I had been providing were a whole bunch of emotional turmoil, trauma and drama and chaos and confusion, lack of self-worth, self-judgment, all kinds of things that did not feel good. I was living in a toxic emotional environment in trapped in the prison of my own monkey mind. And my body was responding appropriately to the different stresses that I was perceiving. My body was literally trying to help me. It wasn't being attacked by a disease. Neither is anybody else's body. Everything our bodies do, they do with meaning and purpose. Our bodies are intelligent. Our bodies are sacred. Our bodies are designed by source intelligence itself. They're designed to heal themselves. They are designed to regenerate and rejuvenate themselves. They are designed to live for as long as the being wants to be in the body, as long as the body serves a purpose. But we have been taught otherwise. We have been taught to mistrust our bodies. We have been taught that our bodies are weak and vulnerable, vulnerable to attack by these killer diseases. And we're taught that these killer diseases are lurking in the background. You better go get an annual checkup to find out there's something that's lurking in the background. You better find it before it gets you. This is literally no way to live. Seek and ye shall find is literally universal law. It's playing out right in front of our eyes, larger than life. But we keep saying, oh, you see, we're being attacked by these killer diseases. Simply not true. The fact of the matter is that our bodies are intelligent and everything they do is for our survival. And until we start looking in a different direction, until we start looking inside, until we start looking for the brilliance in the body, we will never find it. 
Because as long as we're looking for what's wrong with us, we will keep finding that instead. As long as we keep running to the doctor, looking for answers, trying to find out what's wrong with us and what pill is going to fix us, we will never see the brilliance of our own biological design. We will never see the power that each and every one of us possesses to heal our own bodies, naturally and organically. And actually, is really incredibly simple. So are you ready to learn how to heal your own body? Are you ready to start looking inside for your answers? Are you ready to start tapping into the mind of God itself? It runs to you and through you 24 7. We are each connected directly to source. That's the truth. But you never will find the truth as long as you're running around in, the, in your preconceived notions and assumptions that the doctor knows everything and that there's a pill for that you will never discover your own brilliance you will never learn to trust your body and life will constantly be a battle trying to protect yourself from the latest disease that's on the loose worrying about something hiding inside, waiting to come and get you. It's no way to live. It's no fun. And it does not produce health or well being. You cannot live in distrust of your body and have a happy, healthy life. It's simply not possible because you're constantly in a place of worry. You're constantly uncomfortable in your own skin. When you don't trust your own body, you don't trust a part of yourself. And there's a schism inside, a split between the truth of who you are and the preconceived assumptions that you've been taught. And those preconceived assumptions of disease are gonna win out every single time because that's how energy works. Our reality is the outpicturing of our consciousness. And we, when we are unconscious of our own ability to heal our own bodies, when we are unconscious of the fact that our bodies are our best friends. Our bodies are the direct connection to source itself. Our body is giving us feedback 24 seven, letting us know, are we in the monkey mind or are we in alignment with the mind of God? Are we accessing true wisdom or are we just regurgitating a bunch of crap we've been taught? when we're just simply regurgitating a bunch of crap that we've been taught, thinking crap thought after crap thought. If I'm not okay, what's wrong with me? Oh my gosh, where's the pill? What's the next pill for this? Oh, I better find out. I better go ask the expert to find out what's wrong with me. That's just living in the monkey mind. That's living inside the walls of your own prison. And it's not a fun place to be. I lived there for decades upon decades. And it was a living nightmare. And then when I discovered that it was, I was the one generating this living hell. I realized that I could start generating heaven instead. 
The unconsciousness generates the hell. The consciousness generates heaven. When we start being conscious of our choices, conscious of our thoughts, conscious of the brilliant design of our bodies. When we start to become conscious that our body is literally our direct connection to source and that our body is always on our side. We start to live in peace and harmony inside. We start living in a state of well-being, in a state of wholeness and completeness, where body, mind, and soul are completely aligned. And we simply allow source wisdom to flow to us and through us. And life becomes a completely different scenario. It actually becomes really super fun. And you just be healthy all the time. Totally possible. You never have to go to the doctor and find out what's wrong with you. Because you know beyond the shadow of a doubt, there's nothing wrong with you. And when you know beyond the shadow of a doubt, that there's nothing wrong with you, then nothing wrong has to manifest in your physical body. How about them apples? Right? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> well, start to learn about the apples that are inside, these apples of wisdom. <laughs> when you start to become conscious of what's actually happening in your body, life becomes heaven on earth. Are you ready for that level of health and happiness that you generate for yourself? Are you ready to start looking for the incredible self-healing ability of your body? Are you ready to start recognizing that your body is designed to heal itself? But you have to know that. You have to look for that. You have to discover that for yourself because you are the one that has to activate that in your body in order to heal the diseases that you think you have. The only reason you think you have a disease is because you've been told by somebody else that you have one. When you start to realize there's literally nothing wrong with your body, there never has been and never will be. It's actually impossible for there to be something wrong with your body. But you have to be willing to see that. You have to be willing to take command of your own body. You have to be willing to discover your own superpowers because nobody else is going to show them to you in the medical world. I can point you in the direction, but you have to discover it for yourself. If you're ready, then please reach out. You can find me at connectingyoutoyou.com. My book is called The Simplicity of Self-Healing. It's a great place to start. Start turning around how you look at your body. Start to, to change the way you look at your body. Dr. Di Dr. Wayne Dyer would always say, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I guarantee you that that's exactly how I healed my own body. All I, had, all I had to do was change the way I looked at it. I had to be willing to see that there was nothing wrong with me, that my body was functioning perfectly exactly as creator had designed it to to create to be so when you're ready to change the way you look at things and start taking your health into your own hands then please reach out this is what i do for my clients i teach you how to tap into your higher mind so you can start creating a higher 
level of health and well-being for yourself. So you can see your own brilliance. And you can see the brilliance of your own body. So thanks for joining me for another Lunch with Lisa. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now.